What's up, what's up, what's up, man? Y'all already know. We're back at you guys again, straight from the trenches. We're here with the updates. Y'all already know, man. We broke it down this morning, the video of T Slick. The news, man, of them pronouncing he has passed on. And unfortunately, man, his family and brothers and friends are all finding out this morning. They have a love lost one, man. They lost a loved one. That's right. So... RIP to T Slick, my condolences to him and his family, like I said. But we got the updates, man. They're saying... In the trenches, man, T Slick was out at a party in Peoria last night, man. That's right. He was out there in the party, and unfortunately, man, so they're saying it could have been, you know, a dice game gone wrong, or it could have been, you know, somebody that was just very, very envious and jealous of T Slick and, you know, his credibility that he had and connections he had with the BDs and the Stones and such on, man. So unfortunately man you know this is what happens when a lot of these fellas man a lot of these guys get out of prison they do years in prison they're finally able to be out in parole but unfortunately man they cannot leave the county they cannot leave the state they have to stay within you know the limits so it's kind of like a set trap for these guys man Instead of them being able to get out and do the parole in another city so they don't have to return to those neighborhoods, they don't have to return to the city where, you know, they left off with a lot of bad heat on them. It's like the judge and the mayor and such on has these, you know, animals all just caged in, all in the same limit of the radar, man. It's pretty much all the heat that you had before you got sent to prison. When you come back home, you're going to have to take care of that heat still, man. You know, it's like it's going to hunt you because you can't run away from it man the city the state will not let you leave they're actually setting you up for either going back to prison on a new charge with a gun because you feel like you gotta protect yourself now and a violation of parole or you end up dead so that's crazy man it's a really really sad situation a lot of people that knew T Slick, man, they knew that he was a real, real stand-up guy, man. He was really respectful, and he was like always like the big brother to a lot of people, man. Like he always looked out, man. He was one of those, you know, if he sees, you know, a younger, smaller dude gain pretty much bullied or gain something, took it from him, you know, T Slick would be the one to step up and be like, "Yo, man, that's bogus. Leave him alone. Give him back his, you know, whatever. Give him back his watch." Give him you know, he always had that that big brother mentality, man. That's why T-Stick was really respected in the neighborhood, man. And, you know, he was really loyal. So loyal, man, that when he went to prison, he did all those years. The reason why T-Stick went to prison was a shootout that happened involving an officer where they say T-Stick shot back at officers. That's what he ended up doing, like, almost 20, like, I don't know how many years it was, man, but he got, he got double-digit numbers in prison. And it was actually at a Chief Keef concert, man. It was like a Chief Keef was performing. Someone was trying to, you know, bully on Chief Keef, trying to run up on him and take some of his jewelry, trying to snatch a chain or so. Um, T Slick being there, like I said, always like the big brother, right? Uh, took action and busted his, you know, busted his weapon at the approacher. And um, police came in, running into the scene and saw T Slick with the gun and on i guess t slick unloaded at the officers as well and that's when he got charged for that did his whole bid in prison came back out was out here for a good year i guess and then he's sad too because i just went on his instagram and it seems like he just had a child not that long ago man he had just became a father as well and then you know last night he decides to go to a party was it a backdoor situation i don't know yet the real real you know details haven't hit the surface yet man but they are saying it was at a party and he was shot you know a lot of people were thinking it might have been an overdose or it could have been a health condition that he's been you know dealing with but unfortunately no that's not true it was um a party in peoria and he was targeted and shot So y'all already know man we're gonna keep you guys uploaded with some more details and more details you know people sooner and sooner will start speaking up on the situation what happened once they start you know after they're done and they feel you know that they need to 
speak the truth so we're gonna give you guys some more insights throughout the day be tuned in with the channel subscribe right now don't miss out and you already know hit that comment section let us know you know your insights of what you guys heard so salute salute to you guys man and unfortunately r.i.p to t slick um it's, just, it's really cold out there man i know it's summer but the at nighttime man these streets are cold the streets don't love you so um y'all be safe out there i know it's the weekend be safe yo i'm out